There's something on my porch. It's time to open the box. We're partnering up with Elmer's for this video. You may have seen the what if mystery box challenges already. I'm super stoked to see what my challenge is because I'm always down for a good adventure. All right, here's what I got. What if you lit up the desert with slime? I have some magic liquid with what appears to be a headlamp, the canteen, we have a hard hat, two colors, glow in the dark blue. I'm loving the fact that it's glow in the dark. So let's see what the challenge actually is. Go big or go home is tonight's motto because you're about to light up the desert with glow in the dark slime and a slingshot made for a giant. I didn't see the slingshot, <laughs> but uh, not a problem. We're just gonna make one. <laughs> you missed! Oh my god. <laughs> Cut more stuff. I'm really out of material. <laughs> <laughs> He shoots, and he scores. <laughs> Looks pretty nice. Let's give All it a right. test run. Okay. Oh no! <laughs> What's your relationship with your neighbors? Anyway. Completely overshot the target by um, enough that it went into somebody else's yard. So we came out to the desert with Caleb and Kathy Sue. Yeah! yeah! The reason we came out here is because we needed a wide open space that also at nighttime wouldn't have light pollution so we could see the glow in the dark slime. Also, right now in the daytime, it's really windy, but when it gets nighttime, it'll be less windy and that'll be the perfect time for us to light up the night sky with our glow in the dark slime. The first step is put together a slingshot, so let's do that first. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Safety number one price. Now we got full strength. There we go. That like scares me even. <laughs> Alright, yeah, let's put something in there just so we can like just get an idea. There should be some uh, pumpkins in there. Like putting the base plate on it gives you so much more power because there's no leaning in the actual slingshot. I'm gonna put the little mini pumpkin in here. I'm just curious. So I feel really good about the slingshot, so now it's time to make a bunch of glow-in-the-dark slime. It is slime time. We're gonna mix a bunch of this glow-in-the-dark glue with this magical liquid. And we're gonna create a ton of glow-in-the-dark slime. We're gonna put orange here, purple here. I'll be the purple guy and you be the orange girl. Orange girl. It's the most satisfying part yeah. for sure though. <laughs> so don't try this at home. It's a little science trick. You just remove the top here and you put a little air into it. That's how you get all the glue out ASAP. Oh my god, you're brilliant! Really here, we just do this so it drains out. See, gravity's doing all the work. Look at those shapes. Two, one, get it! Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think you actually took more out than you got yeah, in. Yeah. <laughs> Glow in the dark, it does. Wow, what oh. a catchphrase. <laughs> it does. <laughs> It's a UV light. What's happening? Oh my lord. Oh, really? All right, here's the last two. All right, so the next step is we're gonna add the magical liquid. Boom. So oh my gosh, it's so, there's so much. The like volume. It's, it's gonna be so pretty. The foam's gonna kinda add this different texture to it. And so if that texture allows it to come out of the basket easier, that will then lead to a longer trajectory from the slingshot. But we're gonna test it here. We have successfully made a ton of slime. It is time to charge it up. Yeah. <laughs> I did it again. Oh my god. You keep dropping the uh... slime. Oh my god. Alright, so the charging station's over here um, with a really bright light. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, so, which one's been charging the longest? These are kind of uh, like any one of these little pancakes. Alright, so I'm going to take them out there. Let's follow it into the night. It's very glowy. So, this is going to be our tracer. That is going to fly through the night so we can light up the night sky with our glow in the dark slime balls. Ah, oh, she's glowing great. Before we fire off the slingshot, I want to show you guys this epic setup. These awesome glow in the dark cubes. Amazing lights on top of the actual slingshot itself. Really awesome cube spread so that we know how far our, our slime is actually going. I'm going to go out in the desert looking like this. I'm going to try to catch 
this <laughs> ball of glow in the dark slime. All right, this is the sweet spot right here. Right in the chest! I could not have put it in a better place! Alright, let's do it again. Catch it. No! So it definitely is very glowed out. Very glowed. And I had no trouble catching it in the darkest of all night. Now that I feel like we understand how far it's gonna go, I wanna do another test where we figure out how much power we can get out of the slingshot. So we're gonna stack some of these cubes on top of each other and we're just going to blast it with this glow in the dark slime. So let's, uh, let's see how much power we can get out of the slingshot. <laughs> First try! I'm genuinely really excited about that. I really right. love this glow slime. Really uh, Alright, so we just swabbed it with a magic liquid to give it a better release. Oh! oh look how good the blue oh, looks. Great. Wow. Oh, too oh. high. Yeah! yeah. All right, so we've mastered the power. It's time to move on to the combination of both distance and power. We're gonna set up and we're gonna play a game of bullseye. The actual center of the actual bullseye is three points. The next ring is two points. The ring after that is one point. But before we do any of that, we're going to cover the bullseye in glow-in-the-dark slime so we can actually see it out in the darkest of night. Now we might get a little drooping, so the bullseye might change over time but we're okay with that, as long as the surface area is roughly the same. It looks like a donut. <laughs> it does. It does. Yeah. Wow. wow. That is so Look glowing. Yeah. That is really good. I'm really proud of this. Let's get this game started. Bullseye, let's do it. This is round one. Three, two, boom. So first round, no points. Everyone is even zero points. We've got a different color. We now have blue. Blue is round two. Oh! Oh. Caleb says he's dialed in. Oh! Our bullseye is drooping off the target. <laughs> did in fact hit the blue of the bullseye, which is two points. Kathy Sue has two points on the board. Oh, that's very glowy. Yeah, that's I like really that. great. That's a nice two. Oh, oh, oh no points on the board. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's two points each. It's all coming down to this moment. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> So we are now in a bonus round. May the best glow-in-the-dark slime challenger win. Oh! Pressure is on. Caleb must, in fact, get oh. a bullseye in order to win. center of the target. Up, nope, that's two points. We gotta go on to triple what? overtime. You have to play it as right. it is. Here we go. Ready? Fire it off. Oh. I'm whispering my dreams into it. Yeah! I kind of want to keep playing though. <laughs> why, would you, why would you end the game? The glow in the dark trophy is on its way out here right now. Oh, it's so glow in the dark. The first ever glow in the dark slime challenge recipient. You are an expert in the field of slingshottery. <laughs> Kathy Sue is our winner! I won because I won. <laughs> <laughs>
I can certainly now answer the question, what if I were to light up the night sky with slime, because we totally did with a ton of glow-in-the-dark slime and a giant slingshot. Fit for a giant. If you like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up, follow the hashtag Elmer's What If for more mystery unboxings, and let me know in the comment section below, what other really cool What If challenges would you guys like to see? If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you really soon.